As footy finals kick off, federal MPs will be under increased pressure to justify corporate perks. As Leah Craven reports, Sam Dastiari's expense scandal has exposed the vexed issue of political rorts and ambiguous rules when it comes to accepting corporate donations. The perks of public office. What's not to love about the Melbourne Cup? Invites to the best parties and free front row tickets. What taxpayers don't know is we may be footing the bill. If an MP says that they went to the grand final because they had to discuss important electoral matters, uh, good luck to them. Labor's Anthony Albanese has hit back at allegations he spent around $3,000 from the public purse to travel to Melbourne from Sydney to cheer on his team Hawthorne at two recent AFL grand finals. I didn't charge one single dollar for transport to or from the grand final or in terms of accommodation on that night. Senior West Australian Liberals Julie Bishop and Matthias Corman also forced to defend claiming a parliamentary travel allowance when they flew across the country to attend footy grand finals. Both say the game coincided with work engagements. It's the old pub test. If it, look, if it, if it smells bad, it usually is bad. The expense scandal that brought down Labor power broker Sam Dastiari and threw the issue of political donations into the spotlight may just be the tip of the iceberg. The Chinese firm Top Education that paid Senator Dastiari's legal bill also reportedly donated more than $60,000 to the Liberal Party. But the former education minister denies that bought the company preferential treatment. Top education's fine to give donations to political parties. It's the payment of people's personal debts that are the problem. Leah Craven, 10 Eyewitness News.